This is the webinar on print on demand, and I'm joined by Rob and Peter. Rob, do you just want to give us a quick introduction to yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Rob Golanowski, I'm, I'm head of sales for Roland in the UK. I've uh, been with Roland for about 12 and a half years now, uh, mostly looking after our um, internal sales team and all of our dealer channel. Um, and uh, excited about purse beers and the opportunities that this brings for the, for the Roland customer base. Brilliant. And Peter, do you want to give us an introduction to yourself as well? Yeah, so my name is uh, Peter Valkens from Belgium, um, being responsible for software uh, within the Roland uh, DG EMEA. Um, and uh, being at Roland for now for three years, I think. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, as you said, we've got a bit of a presentation that we're going to be going through, and then we've got a demonstration as well of, the, of, of this, uh, this platform, this software that's available. Uh, for print on demand. So what I'll do is just uh, hand over to Rob to talk through the first part. Uh, and as I said, any questions, just pop those uh, in the in the box and we'll be able to answer those as we go through or at the end. Oh, okay, great. So thanks, Joe. So the first question then is what is PurseBiz? Um, so as we've got on the screen, basically PurseBiz is an e-commerce platform that will allow customers to be connected with Roland product owners. And what that means really is uh, it's a web shop in, in a simplistic term. It's a, it's a software that can be uh, used as a web interface and a web shop to allow uh, people to have um, an online e-commerce opportunity very quickly, very easily to add on to their business. Um, it's designed for Roland customers um, and mainly our kind of wide format Roland customers. So it's designed with people who've got sort of printing cut machines or Versicams or other, other printers in mind. Um, and it's designed to allow them to sell the typical output they produce with their equipment. So there, there might be banners or T-shirts or posters or pull-ups or the various things that customers are currently producing on their machines. But it's not only allowing them to design and sorry to sell their equipment it's allowing the end user to select their um, designs and actually in some cases customize them as well so this could be um, adding text for example to a template or um, you know, sort of changing a, a slight bit of detail from one print to the next um, so it's 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 allowing end users to have a bit more control over the design of their files without a role in user having to create the artwork uh, the good thing about being online is, of course, it potentially offers customer offers rolling users an opportunity to attract more customers. Um, most people have got a client base, um, and they're quite happily sort of selling to people either via word of mouth or um, uh, via referrals or actually repeat business. Uh, but as everybody knows, you've only got to pick up your phone or your laptop these days and go to one of the search engines and search for a provider of, and you'll come up with. A list of various companies so having yourself visible with an e-commerce platform can potentially help you attract a different customer base um, another good point for the Roland user is that it allows files to be prepared without the, the the print operator having to do any any of the design work so this is a great feature if you're a small company that's only got a few people um, or you know in times like now where you might have some of your team that are not kind of working currently or not in the business for a variety of reasons with PurseBiz, the end user can actually prepare the file for you and it can come straight down into your print queue, ready for you to basically sort of put onto your onto your roll and printer um, and, and start printing it. So it can take a lot of the sort of time, um, time consuming design work out for you. Um, as it says on the screen, there are currently two different packages available, which we'll just explain a little bit more about for uh, in a few minutes for you. Uh, but those packages start from around £225 per plus VAT per month. So it's a very affordable way to very quickly expand your business offering. So we've kind of touched on some of the, the sort of the key benefits earlier on, um, but it's worth just highlighting a few key, a few key points right now. Um, everyone is aware of COVID-19 and the, uh, the current situation, um, but that's changed a lot of the habits of, the, of, of people in, the, in not only the UK, but across Europe and the whole world. Um, and chiefly amongst those is everyone's buying habits. Um, if like me, you've tried to get a, um, an online delivery slot for your shopping recently, you'll have found that you can't do it because everyone is buying things online right now. And they're using that those online platforms a, a, a significant amount more than they were 
one of the statistics there basically has shown that um, shopping online for groceries, basically the percentage of people doing that has doubled um, in the last couple of years. And it's been um, largely driven over the last six months by, by various events. But it's not just the actual act of shopping online. It's all sorts of things. It's how people do it. It's whether they use a PC or whether they're using a mobile. Um, you know, whether they're just sort of gathering information in browsing or whether they're actually sort of using it to place their order and buy their product. But you look at those two statistics mm -hmm. or those two points and Perspiz then suddenly becomes a really powerful tool to very quickly make sure that the sign maker or the role and customer can be where the customers are. Uh, now, with a lot of these platforms, you do need some sort of um, sort of software skill to enable it to be customized for your shop or uh, to be created in the first place and have the right type of products on the uh, on the on the on the platform. Uh, but in the case with Persevis, we've done all that work for you. So there are already lots and lots of different templates of the various things that you might want to start offering. And it's very easy to customize the appearance as well to make sure that it's branded up with your shop and your company name against it. Um, having all the various things that you want on there to sell, you can choose the types of products and you can limit it if you want to to only a certain number or you can expand it to a very large number. Um, so it's very quick and it, as I say, would save an awful lot of time um, in terms of file preparation. Um, it is mobile optimized, so you know you can use it off a tablet um, or a, a, an iPhone or a, an Android phone or a Samsung, whatever your preference is, in exactly the same way that you can use it off a, a, a laptop or a PC. Um, and as there's two versions, you can position it in different ways. You know, you might just want to have a standard shop that is available to everyone, or actually. On the more enhanced version, you can have up to 49 tailored web shops, which could be for your business customers. So an example here might be um, you could deal with a chain of shops that have 25 different outlets um, and they all want to have a, um, a common poster um, as part of a promotion. But they, have, they need to have very slight differences on. So the different phone number for each branch or the different address for each branch. Having something like Perspiz means that the, the, uh, the customers can go online, they can enter in their details onto their standard template and very, very quickly you can have a whole range of different but similar products produced without you having to do any of the design work. So it's, it's a great way for that sign maker to boost their business um, and keep their roller machines running, which is what we all want. Brilliant. That's a good, good, good start and a good introduction to the software. So uh, I just had a quick question as well before before we move on. Um, you mentioned that um, it works with Roland products and you know it, obviously your print and cut machines and stuff, but it works with other Roland devices as well, right? So you know the UV products or print only devices or um, uh, textile as well. Will it work with dye sub and things? Yeah, um, as we, we'll see later on, I'm sure it's compatible with pretty much all of the Roland range because it simply produces a, a print ready um, file that can go into Roland VersaWorks. So, uh, yeah, whether it's um, um, you know, whether you're printing a, in a, an iPhone case for, for an LEF customer or whether it's a, a, a banner for a, a true Viz VG2 customer, you know, it will appeal. It's, it's suitable for a large proportion of the Roland customer base. Perfect. OK, so if we move on, uh, Peter, do you want to take over here? Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> so, and um, just bringing some um, things up regarding Paxbis in a nutshell, one of the key elements of uh, Paxbis is that it is avail available immediately, meaning when you buy um, or when you subscribe for a Paxbis license, then you will have access to your shop immediately um, without any upfront investment. So no investments are needed um, to have a PaxBiz license, uh, your shop online. Um, this, the activation, uh, the purchase process of a uh, PaxBiz license, independent uh, of... Um, and I said the PaxBiz license, the, the shop, Oh, I think you're cutting out a bit there, Peter. Are you getting that as well, Rob? Yeah, the joys of the internet. Should we do some subtitles? 
Peter, your audio has disappeared. I'm not sure where that's gone. Which you can compose by yourself. You select by Sorry, yourself. You, dis you disappeared there for a minute, Peter. You're back now. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so Pesbis is a um, is a one solution. It's an all it's, a, it's an all in one solution, um, with an online product catalog. Uh, the products you you can select by yourself. You can uh, edit by yourself. Um, there is an integrated payment um, uh, provider uh, available. Uh, this can be PayPal or can be um, uh, Visa, Mastercard, uh, American Express. You have the ability to set uh, different delivery settings and options, and uh, you have a straightforward back, uh, back-end office um, as a shop owner that you can manage uh, your orders that are coming in, that you can manage the individual pricing of your products. So everything is in one solution, yeah? meaning um, no extra IT costs or expenses are needed um, to set up a personal own um, web shop based upon PASBIS. This is um, what I've said uh, before. It's in a, this is the, the third key element. It's a personal shop. You, the, you customize the interface as you would like. You can brand it with your uh, logo, with the colors, uh, whatever you would like. Select the products, define the pricings, uh, adjust sizes, product names, uh, texts, descriptions. So everything can be done uh, via the backend by yourself without any um, external IT or a software company need um, to help you in this. As Rob mentioned uh, before, we have two packages. Um, so PaceBiz comes uh, in two flavors, PaceBiz e-commerce and the PaceBiz business e-commerce. Both of them are on a monthly based subscription. Um, what is the main difference between both of them is that with PaceBiz e-commerce you have a one open shop through which every kind of customer can purchase a product, can personalize a product and can have it delivered at home or at a location where uh, somebody can pick it up. Yeah. With Spicebiz Business e-commerce, you have just the same. You have one open shop where everybody can have access to um, to personalize, to buy a product. Um, but on top of that, you have 49 dedicated private areas um, for business customers. So business customers can log in with their own uh, username, password, and they will see their own assigned templates that they can personalize or that they just can buy. Yeah. That's the main difference between both of them. Um, below you see the pricing, £225 for the uh, Pesbis e-commerce and for the Pesbis business e-commerce is £255 uh, including 100 jobs per month. 100 jobs means 100 unique PDF files. Meaning if you have one PDF file, one job, yeah, and it needs to be printed uh, 50 times, this is one job for the system. Yeah. Um, so the key features um, of PaxBiz, so it's a web to print solution, um, ready within minutes to be online and to start selling online. It's uh, cust fully customizable. This system comes as well um, with ready products which you can use, which you can customize. And behind those products, we have templates with in a collection um, with about 100, uh, with about 1,000 uh, designs that are linked to those templates, linked to the products. Um, they are all full editable, so you can change them. You can adapt uh, what you would like. Um, important to know is as well, within the monthly subscription fee, everything is included, meaning as well the online storage, meaning as well the online transactions, um, security, everything is hosted on the Amazon Web Services, so there are no extra costs regarding IT or updates. So important as well, if the software has an update or a new feature that is being added, it will be added free of charge. So it's within the monthly fee. Um, and then uh, a last one, which is important as well, um, with PaxBiz, you can rely on the dealer and or Roland business unit for support and help. So within own language, you have a dedicated uh, contact person um, to, he to help you through the setup of the system.
Yeah. Um, that's it for the slide. Yeah. So as a product owner buying a license of Paxbis, you will get a default shop. Yeah. This is the view of a default shop. Um, starting with the header, the, the logo of Roland, the header, a banner, and the different products with some uh, shop indications. And as I said before, everything, the logo, uh, the banner, everything can be customized and can be adapted according to your needs. Yeah? If we go to a uh, demo shop environment that we have created, um, it's named Yepi. So it's Paxbiz slash Yepi. So this is the um, personalized environment with my um, selection of products in different categories. Yeah? And here, as said, everything can be personalized, supported languages, to run nine supported languages um, within the system, uh, which easily can be activated or deactivated um, without any problem. Yeah? If we, for instance, take a product as a consumer, when I go to uh, the website, um, of one of our sign makers or print service providers. Um, for instance, I click on the COVID-19 um, catalog or category. Um, then I can have here different options, like for instance, a COVID poster, the roll-up system or floor graphics. Um, those are created um, and as a uh, customer or consumer, I can click uh, on one of them, for instance, floor graphics. I can select a size, everything that you can see again, uh, the title, the descriptions, the sizes um, can be customized as you would like. Yeah. Um, quantity can be selected. Uh, you can go to next. And then you have the ability to select a pre designed file, or you can start with an empty one. It's how you would like. If we select the pre designed file, um, Nevertheless, it is a pre-designed file. Um, we can add images. It is how the template is being built up, meaning if we restrict, meaning if we say you may not add uh, other images, then you will not be able as a consumer to add uh, images. If we say you are allowed to add images, then you can add images, yeah? Or you can add text the same as for text. If we don't allow, then you will not be able to add text. Yeah? We can proceed to the checkout. And in the checkout, um, we have an overview of the products. Um, we can add a coupon uh, if applicable, or we can add more products if we add more products. And if we take, for instance, again, um, the COVID, uh, and we go for the roll-up system, as you can see, the menu has been changed. It has been extended to four instead of two. We can say it's a budget roll-up. The size is fixed. And we have with a base, without a base. So it's how you com combine and how you present um, the products. Meaning you can sell um, the roll-up itself. You can sell the, the roll-up together with a system, uh, with a base. Yeah. And then language wise as well so depending on the language preview can change you can go to the next one and here we have the ability again to create a new design based upon an empty one or we can use an existing one if we take for instance this existing one yeah we make it a little bit smaller Yeah. So here we have a field indicating that we are allowed to add a picture to it. Yeah. So we can click on it, we can upload a picture or a logo or whatever the customer would like to add. And then here below we can add some text, we can change the size. Even this can be set as being a default. If you say this should always be 120 uh, or, or having the value of 120 instead of having 14 points, um, this can be set in the template as well, that it always should be 120 and can be changed. And then we easily can say, um, or add a text. 
change the color of the text, apply, yeah. We can add it to the basket, yeah. So now we have two products, and then a third um, possibility. Go back. So we will add another um, product. Um, let me take again the roll-up, the size without the base, for instance, and we take the English one. Uh, we proceed, and here we say, upload your own design. So here we can ask the key, the customer or the business customer to upload a PDF file. And once he has upload, he have uploaded an, um, or he has uploaded a uh, PDF file, we can proceed. The PDF file will be checked as well on quality and on size if it fits for the um, pop-up system. Yeah. So everything can be set and defined in the um, in the template. If we go, for instance, if we take another one. Um, let's take gifts and goods, coasters, we select here square, the size, we proceed, J just to show the ability and the, the different setups which are possible, so we can click on the coaster and we will be able to select a design, yeah, add it to the cart, Yeah, and we will add one product more. Again, we go to coaster, gifts and goods, coasters, and we select again the size. And here we click on another template. And this will make or will give the user the ability to connect with his local device, with a Facebook connection, with an Instagram connection, with Google. Um, to download and to use pictures from social media. Just to show the possibilities of the system. So we will just add the picture on a coaster and we proceed. Yeah. The pictures can be cropped, can be resized, uh, a filter can be applied to the um, to the images. Um, text can be added. Uh, or edit uh, and edit um, as you would like. And once the customer has finished designing his products and personalizing his products, he can continue to check out. And in the checkout, he will be asked, or he can be asked, it is a, how you have set up uh, your um, or the uh, shop environment. The shop environment can be set up in two ways. Um, when the product owner of Roland is having a local store where he can invite his customers to pass by and to pick up a product or the, um, the ordered product, then the customer can click on this button. Or when the customer would like to have the products being delivered at home, just clicks continue. And then he just starts filling in all the necessary fields. Um, the, the country uh, where he lives. And in this example, um, if we change the country, Belgium pricing conditions of delivery will change as well, depending on um, the location of the shop. So as shop owner, for instance, I'm located, in this case, I'm located in Belgium. So the prices in Belgium are less than, for instance, in France. Yeah. It is how you would like to set up. Um, if you say, Another, as a customer, the de uh, delivery address should be something else. Just fill in the uh, a new delivery address, and then you have the ability to select the payment done via PayPal or via credit card, Visa, American Express, Mastercard. And here we say, as an example, We accept, and once we say accept, the system will check first of all if the um, the checkout fields has been filled in, and then on the other hand, the whole 
for all the, the five the four orders we have made the four products that we have created um, are being forwarded as an order to the backend system for the product owner yeah so here we have the receipt as customer consumer uh, we had the, we have the receipt and this receipt will be emailed to the um, consumer as well to inform him what he has ordered and where it will be delivered yeah and the same receipt is being forwarded to the product owner to the Roland product owner to inform him that a new order has been placed and is available in his backend yeah and then as a product owner I can go to my backend and this is just I have my shop name Yippy, and then I have my admin section and in my admin se section I will have the new orders uh, that have came in um, which are pending meaning I'm just waiting as product owner I'm waiting for the money once I have received the money I can validate the order and then the order will be processed and will be forwarded to my local computer as product owner yeah as Roland product owner the orders will be forwarded to my local um, computer ready to be printed yeah so here the jobs have arrived this is a small program that will be installed on your local computer as product owner and this program this production center is looking into the cloud to your shop and asking your shop do you have new jobs as soon as you have validated those jobs they will be downloaded by the production center um, and they are available as printable files um, which you can drop into Versaworks start printing this is a bit the flow of uh, Persbis so we have the front end for the consumer consumer can select a product can personalize a product he can check out he can do the payment online and then um, as product owner you just have to validate you have to check if you have the money or not and once you have the money you can validate the order and you can uh, start producing uh, and forwarding the pdfs to versaworks and have them printed on a roland device what is important as well um, to use or to have a license of persbis you need to have at least one roland device um, meaning if you have one Roland device and then you have for instance an, an, an Epson or an HP you can use those devices as well uh, to print the PDF files but at least one Roland device is needed to have a Pisces license okay excellent so I mean just just from uh, a quick question from me or a quick point I guess is that as soon as those PDF files come through you can obviously set up um, an automated workflow for those to be automatically inputted into VersaWorks and potentially automatically rip or automatically rip and print as you would be able to in VersaWorks anyway with any um any jobs so I'm, I'm yeah you can also set up automated flows as well I guess um yep. we have had a couple of questions come in um so one question that we've had come in is how does this compare to Xerox free flow core uh can this work with Xerox devices yes it's a simple answer yes it can it can work with the Xerox device as i said before if you have at least one rule on device and doesn't matter which one you have yeah so if you have one rule on device um then you can use persbis um to have jobs for your Xerox on an a4 a a3 size uh binding books whatever yeah there are templates available within persbis to print um photo books yeah. So, so I guess yeah. in essence, as long as long as, as long as you have a Roland device, you can get any any design file that requirements back from the platform uh, in the form of a PDF, which you can then use as as you please, I guess, to to print on any other device. Yeah, I think uh, that was that was a good little overview. Shows some of the benefits at the beginning. You know, uh, it, it def the way that people are shopping is changing, and this is something that we've had qu customers ask for uh, quite a lot is to be able to have you know for somebody to go and generate and create something like this is a, is an awful lot of work <laughs> so uh, a sort of out the box package where you can just pay a subscription and utilize it straight away and the fact that you get the support in building that as well you know adding your products um, how you how you build the platform and how you make it look sounds like 
uh, it looks like it's really really easy and that looks pretty simple you know that looks you know for me that that looked pretty good from the front end and the fact that you can either you know you can lock down things if you need to lock down things or you can open everything up so that people can change things upload images whatever it might be so i'm, I'm sure this would suit a lot of different markets i think as to because you can lock down certain parts of it or change the workflows to suit a lot of different people and then the back end side of it a file comes through and you print it stick it in the post and and there you go uh, as 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 ever if anybody does have any questions you you can always get in touch with us um via any any of the channels uh via the websites via email addresses uh but just want to say thank you to rob and peter for joining us and i hope you guys found that useful and uh, look out for the next webinars that are going to be coming up uh, and that's it we'll, we'll log off for the afternoon perfect Good. thank you thank you have a nice Take day care, everybody. Everybody.